Sorry, my kids were coming up to party and Jimmy started giving all praise. Yeah, but I'm not shy. Brock, the wah kakudash. Um, the boy answers to the elders, the apostles of Jimmy, and answers that to the brothers and the higher and by teaching the truth and all sincerity. Okay, um, just you know, I wanted to talk about you know Russia. Okay, mother of Russia. Okay, because you know uh, they're in the news a lot in a minute. You know. Uh, over this um, nerve gas agent thing, okay, that happened here in the UK. Yeah, but I just wanted to draw attention to what you know, the, what it is the West is doing, man. You know, it's not the first time they, they've done this evil, but you know, as we as you draw closer to the to to the end, okay, in prophecies, right? Okay, this you know the, these shifts towards you know focusing. Uh, the West focusing on, on Russia to be this, you know, boogeyman, this enemy that that needs to be uh, dealt with. Okay, comes more and more prominent as as we go along in this thing. Okay, you know, Russia's name always gets dropped when something bad is happening. Okay, every 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 Western um, uh, news uh, company is dropping Russia's name and everything. Okay, anything bad happened, you know, Russia, Russia's responsible, okay? And, you know, the same with this nerve gas agent thing, okay? Because without proof, they, they, you know, without uh, <laughs> definitive proof, they're already blaming the Russians um, for, for this attack, you know? But, you know, when you think about it logically, you know, it, it don't make no sense, you know? But, you know, whether they did or didn't, it's all really relevant, okay? Because what... This really is or well, leads up to is that conflict, that future conflict between you know U.S. and, and Russia, and you know Britain, these other European nations, you know, against Russia and their their allies, man. You know, because World War Three, you know, we we're, we're getting ever, ever closer to, closer to that. Okay, so you know these these are just because the West like to spin a story. Okay, the West like to spin a story, like you know they're the good guys, and you know whoever they're attacking or coming up against, they're the bad guys. Okay, so and I mentioned like they they treat Russia as that boogeyman, just like they did in in um back uh, in the Cold War. Okay, everyone was worried about what Russia was gonna do because they got nuclear weapons, and they said they were saying this and saying that, and you know going back and forth. Okay, the back and forth still goes on. Okay, the back and forth is still going on. Okay, they're always exchanging words. Okay, but eventually, this will end up in a world war. Okay, i.e. the third, the third world war the scripture speaks about. Okay, so you know the, this, you know the, this information or this news that keeps coming out is really it's all the precipice basically. It's all the the lead up. Okay, in that dividing war where you know it's going to be the west you know you're gonna have us and nato the european unions the, the beast okay you know their allies uh and russia and their allies china iran you know syria you know all their all their allies it's gonna be a world war they're all going to be involved and they're all going to blow the shit out of each other okay but it ends with with america's destruction Okay, as it is prophesied in 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 the scriptures, man. Okay, but we can just see here that the types of articles that are going around, right? It says UK claims Russia has stockpiles of nerve, nerve gas for terror. Okay, so uh, these Russians were meant to have destroyed all this. Uh, what they call it um, Chuck Chuck Stov or you know whatever they call this nerve agent. They were meant to have destroyed that a while back. Okay, but now. <laughs> They they're just coming out and saying, oh yeah, they got they got stockpiles of the shit, and you know they're planning you know terror attacks or some shit, okay, you know to make it seem like Russia is some fucking terror group hell bent on fucking dominating the world, you know whatever man, you know, and you got here made to Russia, UK won't tolerate threat to Britons, you know they speak all this hard talk like yeah what are you gonna do kind of thing, but hey if Russia come to step to your door, <laughs> mate. Britain, Britain will be fucked. Okay, I, I don't care about 
um, how good your fucking uh, British military is and that kind of shit, man. Russia will fuck you up. <laughs> okay, we, we, you know, it's it's been um, it's been documented in the past, man. Uh, during the, uh, I can't remember what conflict I think it might have been during the Cold War that um, Britain or London would be one of the first targets um, Russia would hit in in Europe to send a message to the rest of these other nations. Okay, and the response uh, the, the the response time is really tiny now. Okay, they they said re realistically if Russia was to do something. Like Britain would only have like 15 minutes to actually <laughs> respond to do something, man, to protect itself or to to launch a counterattack. Okay, that's nothing. Okay, that that is absolutely nothing, man. So, you know, if it came down to it, you know, Britain would get fucked up. Okay, let's just be just be real about it. Okay, but yeah, they they they're playing Russia to be that boogeyman. Okay, and, and Russia is ultimately going to be what destroys America, okay, you know, Russia's armies, their allies, and they're going to destroy America, along with these other nations, really, because they're going to shoot their missiles on America eventually anyway, they're all going to turn their backs on America, okay, um, you know, I suppose America is going to become the bad guy at the end of all this, you know, for everyone to shoot their missiles on them, or the Lord just going to have everybody send their missiles, man, thinking that it's going to go to different targets, and the most High just says, no, fuck that, just and redirects them all to, to America. I don't know how that's going to play out, but all I know is that America is going to be destroyed by thermal nuclear weapons, and that these are, these other nations, <laughs> other nations' missiles are going to play a part in that. Okay, but um, but yeah, number one here, well, selection of them, right? You see, you see, this is a U.S. seeks to encircle Russia with anti-ballistic missiles, man. Okay, it's all preparing itself for this eventual war because all these other these these current wars like what's going on you know in the name of terrorism in the Middle East and that kind of stuff that's all bullshit that's all you know smoke screens man okay illusion man okay and all that's really done is drawn in these other major players i.e russia into the fold in the middle east okay because attacking syria okay in the name of fighting terrorism or whatever has drawn in uh, has drawn in Russia, okay, and you know where the U.S. are fighting now. They're um, what's it coming in contact with the Russians, okay. So eventually, you know, because they always disagree, they always disagree uh, on on um, foreign politics, okay. They're always disagreeing on shit. Usually, Russia and China will, abs will abstain from things in 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 the, um, uh, the conferences, in the committees, and that. You know, so they 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 they're painting Russia to be this super bad guy, man. You know, they're trying to fuck up Putin's elections and shit, where with all this kind of news and stuff coming up, man. But you know, at the end of the day, it ain't gonna do nothing but lead to this war. Okay, so. You know that's that's the sort of um, uh, climate that is being developed around us, man. Showing you, man, that these scriptures is 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 the real deal, man. You know, all this is being prepared, okay, as the scripture basically has has, has written and has stated it, man. Okay, eventually, you know, the world's going to go to war. Okay, and then the majority of the fighting is going to be done there, down there in the Middle East. That's where. Armies are already already there, okay. But that will that will become even greater, okay. Israel will be involved, Iran will be involved, okay. They'll all be down there, man. U.S. troops, all the, all these all these troops, man. They're gonna get sent there into the Middle East, man. But you know, eventually, that's gonna end after they all shot themselves up, man. It's gonna end with um, you know, these nations shooting missiles on America, man. Okay. But like I said, always um, positive signs. But you see the angle that they're trying to work, okay, on 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 Russia, on this you know, into into this war, okay. Um, I'm gonna get Revelation chapter twenty and verse eight. All right. 
Okay, I'm gonna start from verse seven. Okay, it says here, and when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison. Okay, that's talking about Esau. Okay, it says ever since the Renaissance period, he's he's been back in power. So between since the fall of Rome, okay, he was nobody. He was, he was bound for a thousand years, but after that, you know, since you know the night the 1400s and that, he's been, he's been back in power, so to speak, right? So it's, and it shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth. Okay, so Esau controls the world by lies. Okay, and that's how he, that's how he, you know, as well as violence. But um, you know, he he he's out there deceiving all these nations, man. You know, he's spinning up stories. You know, like I said, they're, they're trying to paint this narrative of you know Russia being this super e evil nation that needs to be destroyed, basically, or needs to be dealt with. Okay, but you know, we're you know they they're making these things happen, man. They they. Just as wicked, because I'm not, I'm not saying Russia's a, a you know a righteous nation or nothing, but you know they're just America and, and you know Britain they they they're just as wicked, man. Okay, they're just as wicked. Okay, but it, it's all because of prophecy, man. These, uh, you know, this um situation has to be conjured, man. So this is how things play out. Okay. You know, spreading these lies and that to to create conflict, right? It says, um, I shall go out to see the nations which are in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, which represents Russia, okay, to gather them together to battle. Okay, so that's where this is that's where that, that's where that leads. It leads to that battle. Okay, the, the third wall. Okay, it says the number of whom is as the sounds of the sea. Right. So that's the point. Okay, it all leads to that battle between those two great superpowers in in the world right now. Okay, so you know, Lord willing, you know, it's it's within, you know, this current presidency under Trump, man, because you know, Trump's like a fucking child, man. Okay, he, and hopefully that that will benefit. <laughs> or fast forward these um. Uh, this prophecy is coming, coming to coming to being, man. With these uh, rash actions, but hey, like I said, we keep watch, man. Say, Lord willing, Trump's the guy that that brings us all in. Okay. Um, Jeremiah, I'm gonna, Jeremiah 51. Uh, verse 11. Right. It says here, make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord have raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes, which also represents Russia. Okay, in in this prophet prophetic scripture. Okay, it says for his device is against Babylon to destroy it, because it is it is because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of His temple. Okay, so like I said, the, the Russians have been set up to to destroy. It. America, okay, which Babylon re represents in this scripture. Okay, that's what the Most High has set up. Okay, that's why, you know, these paradigms are being have been created, man. Okay, that's why these nukes have been created for the day of the Lord. Okay, the, the weapons of the Lord's indignation, man. So, you know, this is where it all leads, man, and this is what we watch diligently, you know, to see how this all sort of uh, pans out. Okay, so. You know, we just we just sit and watch, man, and and report, okay, and, and you know, speak on these things. So, like like we said, Lord willing, you know, <laughs> this this comes in real soon, man. And you know, we can get the hell out of here, and we can have uh, uh, peace and rest in 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 the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay, the sooner this happens, the better better for everybody, man. But mostly for the Lord's elect. Okay, so you know, like I say, keep watch. And we'll keep you updated on um, future articles, man. But until next time, Arkham, I'll say Shalom.